Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Lines and Tarot. I'm your lovely host, Lioness. Thank you for joining me today. I will be doing a reading by Jackson, uh, for Jackson. <laughs> this reading is brought to you by my lovely Patreon, Angel Stewart. Um, follow me on Patreon if you would like to um, see readings long before I upload them on my YouTube channel. And um, if you would like to put in your requests, that more than likely will be um, completed and put on Patreon for you. So, um, yes. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and scratch that like button, okay? Let's, let's, like, join the family. Join the pack, okay? I do readings on celebrities, um, K-pop idols and groups, uh, and pretty much anybody you would want. Just leave it in the comment section below and, you know, one day we'll get to it. So, as I said, today we're going to be doing a reading on God Sevens Jackson and just kind of seeing where his energy is at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a personality reading for him. Um, but just a small one. I'm not going to touch on um, too many things, or at least I'm not going to try to. Um, and we're just going to see what his personality traits are, or some of his most prominent personality traits. And then we're going to get to what will be going on with him um, in the next few months. So, come on, Jackson. Come to Jackson. <sighs> Step into the den, Jackson. Okay. Let's see if I can get one more card. Okay, this is enough. Okay. Alrighty, so... First, we have Child Nature. It's in the lighter attribute. All of these cards ended up being in the lighter attribute, so that's good to see. That's immediately telling me, you know, Jackson is definitely working on himself, working on improving himself. Um, and even if he's not working on improving himself, he's in a stage where he's kind of embodying or more positive sides of him are what's coming out. Um... So we have friendship with animals, communication with nature spirits. So I don't really know where Jackson is or what he's doing, but it seems like he's more so amongst um, his, it, it, like sort of in his natural habitat. I have no idea where he is. Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if he's in Korea or if he's in China. But right now um, he's amongst, he's in his natural <laughs> habitat. He's like someplace familiar. He's someplace that he loves and that he feels very happy. Um, in we have Messiah it says serving humanity with hu uh, humility. Um, we have Father talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light through his tribal unit, and we also have Hermit seek solitude to focus on uh, focus intently on inner life and serves personal creativity. Like I said, it does seem like there seems to be some sort of change happening with Jackson or him more focusing on more positive um, natures or positive sides of him. Um, I do see there being a little bit of a battle between um, being like embracing more positive sides of him and being humble, like trying to find this line of this line of humility and um, basically being a carpet, like letting people walk all over you. So there is a line that he has to that he's struggling to find. So, you know, sometimes being humble is not always the best thing. Um, like, sometimes, you know, being humble is just literally letting people walk all over you. And I feel like there's a line there that he may be trying to find where he can say, okay, past this point, you're being disrespectful. Um, so, don't know what that's about, but that's there. Um... Yeah, so we also, I know I didn't touch on this yet, but I'm going to get to it last because um, Becker came out and it's kind of in the, it's upright, but it was actually in a, the way I felt to put it was in a burden position. Like this is not a good thing. Like this beggar card is not a good thing, even though it's upright, it's, it's not positive. So I'm going to get to that last. Um, so yeah, it's like Jackson is focusing it, focusing on himself because this is what I'm getting from the father. He's focusing on himself. He's trying to nurture himself and who he is. He's all his own creative life. It's um 
like putting all of his energy into things that he loves. I feel like Jackson has is at a point where he's learned a lot of lessons. I feel like he's learned a uh, like concrete lessons. Like he's learned something that he's like that has just changed him for the better of himself, the better of his own um, evolvement and growth. Growth. Sorry, I'm just stumbling all over the place today. But yeah, for his own um, evolvement and his growth. So he's learned some very hard-hitting lessons, some some lessons that will stick with him for a while. Um, and, you know, and even with this hermit, it's like something that he has to meditate on. It's something that he's he's really taking in and accepting. Like, you know, when you learn, you learn something or you figure something out and then you have to just kind of sit with it a while. Like, wow, okay, so this is what happened or this is what's going on or this is how I was actually living that life. For example, like, so I was being used the whole time. No, I wasn't being humble because, you know, humility is up here. No, I wasn't being humble. I was letting them walk over me. Maybe I took too much in a sense of like, maybe I let people get away with too much. Um, I do feel like there's a sense of feeling wronged, um, but it's not a blame that's on other people, more so a reflection on himself of a lot of how, how much Jackson has allowed um, to happen. Um, so, um, so we have beggar, like I said, even though it's upright, this was not coming out to me in a positive light. Um, it says dependence on others. Um, an exclusion of effort in the shadow attribute in the light it says confirms empowerment at the level of physical survival awakens the spiritual authority of humility and compassion and self-esteem well in the lighter attribute is kind of what I was describing but also the beggar um, when I say it was not good it wasn't in a lighter attribute even though it came out that way it's more so this is going off of this humility thing I don't know why it's such a a major thing that's standing out to me but it's more so like not really a beggar yeah it is a beggar it is okay so what I'm seeing is sort of Jackson spending too much time asking people for things that he could have taken or found a way to achieve on his own that's why I was like it's not really positive I know it's in the positive position and yes the lighter attribute applies and this shadow attribute isn't what I was feeling this card itself was is not positive um it's like he is this is still a reflection by the way because that's how I'm feeling it I'm sorry I'm trying to relay ex the exact energies that I'm feeling and how I'm seeing so I'm sorry if it's a little confusing but it's like Jackson is in a stage of reflecting on things that he begged too much for. He asked and waited too much for things in his life that he didn't need to ask for. Um, almost example like, you know, let's say, let's use JYP for an example. This is all alleged for entertainment purposes only. Uh, let's say like, he's like, hey, JYP, I want a solo album. And JYP's like, well, you have to earn it. You have to work on it. And it's almost like an example of him taking too much time begging and asking his company for a solo album when he could have gone to China. And, you know, it would have it been in like it would have been like that. And he would have been able to have his solo album and things like that. So that's kind of an example. That's why Beggar is coming out almost as a as a um, burden. Um, it's kind of like he just he spent too much time there's a racial issue here too there is it's like he spent too much time begging people who don't not I can't say don't care for him just take everything with a grain of salt I'm just gonna explain it in the best words that I could possibly explain it, okay so it's like it's almost like you know a feeling that sort of um, disrespect to, to yourself and your people when you are um, in another country and you're and you're begging someone who's not of your ethnicity, who you know has possibly had um, times of looking down on you or treating you different because you're of your eth eth your ethnic or racial background. He's just like he spent too much time begging. Um, Non-Chinese people to help him with something, if that makes sense. Um, it's like. And, and and just please like I like imagine that that those moments of feeling belittled um, because you're one of the only or you feel like you're the only um, like person of that race ethnic group and you're like 
begging someone who's not uh, who's not where you're from to give you permission to do something um and these people look down on you so it's almost that's the best way i can really describe it like you know you guys can you know make it work how you feel um but that's how i can describe it that's where the beggar is coming from he's begged people um, who don't hold him in the, as a, in the same level of respect as themselves. He's begged them for far too long for things that he could have obtained without their help. And so he's at a space where he's just like, I don't know why I spent so much time begging for respect, asking for respect. And that's how I can put it for you. Okay. And also as a personality trait, um, like it's just saying that he, that's also a part, part of who he was and is learning to not be, but he still has these habits. That's why it's still here and prominent. It's still a bad habit because you will probably still see him in the future begging or asking like, you know, his company or CEO, like, why can't you give us this? Um, when are we going to do this? You know, things like that. So there's that. Okay. Moving on. Let's go right into um, the overall energy for Jackson. Um, I'm going to get one. Um, I'm going to go and do, it's like, what, the sixth month? Moving into the seventh month, I think I'm going to do the companies for the second half of the year. Because, girl, if the, if, the, if the world don't end by, by the end of the year, I don't know. The way things are going in life right now, I don't know how much time we all have here. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the companies. Um, probably, yeah, well, July. So overall energy of um, Jackson is enjoy is the lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. Um, I pulled another card as well. And it says, broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. So it's kind of like what I was talking about with the personality cards. He's in a stage of reflection and growing. So he's realized his mistakes. He's realized the um, parts of his personality that are causing him more mo emotional damage, which is begging and, and, and asking for people who he knows doesn't have his well-being um, in mind for things that he can achieve on his own. Um, so, um, like I said, please let me know in the comment section um, whether he's in Korea right now or if he's in China. Um, but anyway, it says, uh, enjoy the growth and reap rewards. So this is, ta like I said, he's finding and realizing his flaws. He's changing himself, actively changing himself for the better. Um, and he is going to be reaping the rewards of that. Um, so you'll probably even see uh, within the next few months or even by next year a more matured version of Jackson. You know, we'll see. Um, even if he still keeps his personality trait as a co com comedy relief, comedic relief, uh, even if he's still, you know, fun, you'll probably see more of a he's very serious Jackson, a very, you know, uh, business orientated Jackson. We'll see. We also have Broken Arrow, Embrace the Energy of Peace. And when I see the Broken Arrow, I'm kind of, again, it's like making me think of the energy that he's channeled in the wrong directions. Going back to Beggar, um, you know, he's channeled all this energy asking people for things that he did not me to be asking them for begging them for i would say not asking everyone deserves respect and everything and you should ask for it but you know he's found himself becoming somewhat of a beggar and it's kind of like the broken arrow is talking about that channeled energy that energy where he put too much into asking for what he can so simply get for himself um but you know now um, it's like that arrow is broken. He's broken that arrow. He's no longer channel channeling that energy towards something that is not going to help him or something that's only going to give him, you know, bad energy back. And he's embracing this stage of, of uh, reflection, this stage of peace and quiet, this stage of, okay, now I know what I'm doing wrong. Now I know what I need to change. Um, in order to um, be more secure and happy with myself. So that's the energies that we have now. So this is still like, this is a process. This is still a process. He's actively changing. Okay. Oh my God, I'm getting all my cords tangled up in my deck. Um, okay. 
So next, we're just going to go ahead and just see what's what's happening with him. And then, like, and what will be the biggest, next biggest thing to be happening with him. Okay. Um, Joshua may have some more jobs and, and, and rooms of employment coming up. Okay, we have dealing with family. And I wonder if this is like maternal family or if this is like, you know, company kind of family. Because I'm not very sure. Pull a few more cards. Yeah, we'll see him more active. Um, maybe a show. Um, he has to be home. He either has to be home or is going to be sent home. Maybe even a show back at home. But he is going to be back in the public eye. He'll probably be gaining um, popularity once he comes back into the public eye as well. Um, like, because I don't know. I feel like he's going to be... Yeah, I do feel charming shit is going to happen. Like, I feel like he's going to come back and he's going to have such a nice energy, such a kind, beautiful energy about him. And um, people are going to be very attracted to it. And people are going to be like, hey, you know, you'll probably see him trend on Twitter um, or something like that because of something that he does out of kindness or something that they're like, wow, this was so sweet or this is so gentle, um, and, you know. Stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see what he'll be doing this year. You know, this family and contentment and hope could also be him just taking his behind on home and staying there and just talking about how happy he is to be on a vacation of some sort. All right, so what's the next biggest thing to happen in Jackson's life? <sighs> what is the next biggest thing? Let's see what I can figure out about what will be going on in Jackson's life. Hmm. Three of Coins and Reverses is like not working together. Hmm. Not working together. This is not being able to. Three of Coins in Reverse is like, like you know, when people are working together or like a group project and this is like, it's not working out. We have Five of Cups um, in Reverse and then we also have Five of Wands. So this is infighting. Um, this is, this isn't good actually. Um, I'm kind of concerned. Um, this number five is standing out to me so much that, hold on, I don't have a numerology book with me actually, but the number five is standing out to me so much. I'm definitely thinking that, um, I think their contracts are coming up. I think that there may be five of them left. There's definitely a possibility that um, that there could be um, five of them left. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, and and there is gonna be some arguments and some hurt feelings. I, I feel like Jackson is going to try to kind of like. Um, ignore them and look like look past them but um, if this isn't like if this isn't like five of them being left over this will definitely be just like five of them fighting like there's a there's going to be an argument or there is yeah there's going to be an argument or just a really big disagreement amongst the members 
of that seven. And so that's one of the next biggest things to happen. What okay, but what will be known publicly? What is what is going to be known publicly about this? Like that's what I want to know. Like, will we be seeing this? Usually this means we should be seeing it. The Tower. The lovers, the Emperor, Four of Swords. Yeah, it it should probably be announced. Whatever this is should be pretty pretty loud and heard. Um We could also have a scandal with a, a, a lover eventually, but there's I feel like this may be some group things. Yeah. I think this is going to have to do... Damn it, it's two cards. <laughs> Stars in reverse, two of swords, yeah. Star in reverse, somebody, is, somebody has to be leaving or stepping down. Somebody doesn't want to be a celebrity anymore. Or somebody doesn't want to be in GOT7 anymore. So this is definitely something that may go public. Um, now, usually I'm not the greatest at predicting that somebody is going to leave. Um, but we'll see what happens. It could be potentially two members that leave. Um, yeah, two members that leave, five left. So we'll see. Um, that's what we have for GOT7. Um, not GOT7. That's what we have for Jackson. Um, so we'll see what happens um, throughout the rest of the year. I'm saying GOT7 because I, it's just giving me a lot of GOT7 energy. So, um, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen with them or what comes up. And until next time, thank you, Angel Stewart, for this request. Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, let me know any information that you may have on what's, you know, what's going on. And again, once again, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Consider if you would like to support me, uh, help supporting me um, monetarily. Um, there's memberships down below and there's also my Patreon. Or if you would like, email me at Yahoo. The lines and Tara at yahoo.com if you would like to purchase your own personal reading. All right, guys, bye.